Hello everyone, this is Flamzeron for my gaming blog. Currently exclusive, this is part two of my Dazzle tutorial. This this is going to show you how to get your Dazzle like video file actually into like an editable format if you're actually trying to edit it or if you want to sort of polish it up or something or I don't know, you know, just to get it so you can actually upload it to YouTube. There are some ways you can do this. Here's the file. Right, you, once you record, you get this thing right here. A video TS file, and then over here, and you can see you can play it right here. There are a few ways you can actually get this. Uh, I'm gonna, just going to show you basically all the ways that I actually can do. Some of these, you know, aren't exactly authentic. They're just sort of like, you know... Hey, this program can do this, so it can probably, you know, tinker with, you know, the Dazzle. To start off with, the common way is using DVD-X. I'd recommend getting the 4.0 version because the uh, other, ver the previous versions make you, like, put, put in some settings that, like, you may not know. Just, like, you know, how many frames per second is your file going. My computer's a little slow, so bear with me. But hopefully you'll be able to get your files uh, working. And for some reason it won't come up. I don't know why. I guess we'll skip that one or maybe we'll come back to it later. Let's try DVD Decryptor. Yeah, here we go. And look. See, what you can do is you can go to Open Media File then you find your file where is it here we go then you choose the VTS one this one the one that actually looks like a video if you can't tell actually try playing the video in like Windows Media Player or something but yeah now you see that this thing actually starting only problem is this thing is actually a little unreliable. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I, you can tell that it's actually trying to work right now. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. You, you might just have to get lucky. It, some for This one actually works better than the original, but you know. Okay, now DVD Decryptor. This will only work if you have... If you record this on a DVD, there's no real way... If you record your footage on a DVD, sorry. There's no real way to um, use this to rip from a file. I That would be ideal, but... You know. I mean, we can try, I suppose. No. I have no idea what I just did. What if? And then this shit happens. But yeah. Excuse me for just a second. Okay, so it didn't create anything weird. Here's something also sort of different you can do. If you have fraps... Which I will open... Here's Fraps. I've got the full version of Fraps. And as you can see right here, like the little frames per second, I'm actually going to turn this off. you to do that. But interestingly enough, you can actually record video of Windows Media Audio using your using Fraps. So if you record something from the Dazzle, if you kind of time up everything, you know, I'll just show you. My computer kind of takes a... Yeah. Yeah, see right there? It's right there. So you can technically record using this. This is what your video ultimately will look like if you're recording using a uh, a PS2 or a Wii. If you're using like a PS3 or 360, you won't have this problem. I don't know, but Game GameCube as well and uh, probably original Xbox or really anything before... Anything that's not HD, it'll look like this. You, you can probably get a program to take care of this little board thing. I don't really... I've tried working with it. It's kind of hard sometimes. But 
Yeah. And if you can't tell, I'm using Camp Studio to record this. I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, another way you can use YouTube Downloader. Just go convert and play, and you know you look for your thing. And ideally, you want to convert it to an AVI. That's probably the best thing to work with. Even though, depending on what kind of computer you have, it might be a little unstable. It's really the best kind because it works for the most part. And if you're like me and use Windows Live Movie Maker to uh, do, do your videos, then that works pretty well for you. I'm going to take a quick second to load this up just so you guys can see what it looks like. and Yeah, see how it differs from Windows Movie Maker. This one's actually kind of better. Only problem is, you, if you're trying to like make like my little Whineverly updates like I do, you can't really drag a picture to make it last longer for like a certain amount of time. You actually would probably have to do something different. But yeah. The last way I know how to do, which actually... I have another video, a uh, video I recorded with my Dazzle right here. You know, this is a little test. I don't know if you can actually hear, hear that, but, you know, if you've uploaded your video, you can download it using YouTube Downloader like I did before, you know, this little program right here. Problem is if you are trying to actually do some stuff with like your video like actually do a commentary or something or make some cool like little AMV with it or something I don't know some sort of exhibition thing where you actually have to kind of put stuff together or like there's a point where like you kind of put down your controller or pause the game and you like you know to do a text message or something and you want to put in like in subtitles hey sorry about that I was answering a text or whatever uh, then you're gonna have to either upload it and then download then take it off immediately if you don't want anyone to see the footage or make it like a private or unlisted video but you know you just I mean and once you like have the video like a like a YouTube downloader will normally kind of have the URL right there but yeah those are the ways you can actually get your dazzle you get your video from your dazzle onto your uh your uh, like a an uploading or like a video format rather. Uh, that's that concludes my tutorial on the Dazzle. If you have any more questions, you can ask me. I'll try to help you as best as I can. But yeah, thanks for watching, and this will be on my YouTube channel at some point. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Cam Studio.